Hello. For this Free Manager 2 video, we are going to look into how to transfer data from your gas monitor and change its settings for an RL link cable. We'll be using a gas alert Max XT2 for this video. And before we open the application, we have to make sure your unit is powered up and connected with an RL link cable. At the very end of that cable, you will have a blue chip that connects to your device. That blue chip has a power indicator, a green LED light that flashes on and off. Once we have the software open, we will have to log into an administrator. The default password is admin with a capital A. Once we're logged into an administrator, you will have a couple more options to choose from. Let's go ahead and import your logs and events. So go ahead and click on import. From here, go ahead and choose the connected devices tab. Choose your gas monitor. And from there, let's go ahead and import the events first. Now let's go ahead and choose devices data logs and then from there click on import. Once we're done importing, let's head over to the logs and results section. From the event logs, you will have a record for every bump test, peak exposure, or fault condition listed. Within the list, you can add filters and even export the data to an Excel spreadsheet, for example. Now, if you want to change your gas monitor settings, we will need to go to configure device via IR link. Go ahead and choose your model. On this configuration window, go ahead and click retrieve from device. It will retrieve the settings from your gas monitor. As you can see, it's showing the serial number and even the firmware version. Now that we have the current settings, we can go ahead and modify. For every change you do, it will give you a red highlight, indicating the change has been done locally on the PC and has not yet been transferred to your gas monitor. For example, on to our right, we have a sensor configuration section. We have four individual tabs for your sensors. You can change the gas calibration value, also the calibration intervals, which is 180 days by default. Your low and high alarms, TWA and steel, can also be modified. You can even disable a sensor if you're having trouble with it. Once you're done with the changes, you can go ahead and save it to your device. So the next time you retrieve the settings, it should have saved those changes. Now, if you want to update the firmware on your gas monitor, you can go ahead and choose bootloader. You can find the latest firmware on our BW gas monitors through our website at HoneywellAnalytics.com. I'll post a link down below on the video description. Once you have the firmware downloaded and unzipped, go ahead and choose the file. It will start to update your gas monitor. Once complete, it will power down your unit. If you go ahead and power it back up, it should display the latest firmware version on the startup screen. And that will be it for this Fleet Manager 2 video on how to transfer data and change your gas monitor settings through an IRL link cable.